where the dry desert ends, green grass will grow. A famous quote from the book, The Greatest Salesman in the World, by O.G. Mangino, a book that served as a guide to philosophy of salesmanship and success. Telling the story of Hafid, a poor camel boy who achieves life of abundance. So what do we get from this abstract quote? What is the general statement and meaning behind it? Well, this quote mainly talks about facing hardships. When life gives you many obstacles, you shouldn't run away and ignore it. It just means you're just sweeping it under a rug and covering it. The only way to overcome these obstacles is to never give up. You should never give up in facing the obstacles that you have in your life. Whether it's small challenges or challenges that get bigger and harder, the more you overcome it. It may seem that your life is just a lie. It may seem that your life is just a joke. And it may seem that your life is just a toy for amusement. But as the saying goes, effort will always lead to reward. There will always be an achievement after going through the constant struggle. That's why we are always looking forward to the green grass, despite being in a dry desert. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to share you my story and how I overcame the struggles in my life. I was an American immigrant. I lived in New York for 12 years and came back to Lampung for, for middle school. And as you may know, I faced many struggles and complications. And one of the main one was language. Can you even imagine moving to another country and not being able to communicate with others, especially when your parents are not beside you? I understood little Indonesian and couldn't speak the language at all. There was just one incident that my grandma told me that when I first came to Indonesia, I was sitting outside my grandma's store and this customer approached me. They asked me something, but at the time, I didn't know the language. I didn't know what he was saying. And I didn't even realize he was talking to me. And this happened multiple times. To the point, it caused a rumor. A rumor that says that I was an idiot with a low IQ. People had a false perception of me. People called me an idiot, that I was deaf, that I was mute, or I was even autist. Whereas I was perfectly fine, but just had a miscommunication with others. This also had a big impact in my school life when I first enrolled in seventh grade. People would always bully me whenever I opened up my mouth, saying that I would say the word R instead of R when I just couldn't help it. And being socially, cultural shock didn't help either. I already knew that the US and Indonesia had cultural differences, and a huge one at that. But what I didn't understand was that the cultural customs had a big impact on our society and ourselves. That's why I didn't even realize when I strutted outside wearing nothing but short shorts and a sleeveless top Whereas across the street was a mosque and an Islamic school. People thought that I was an idiot, that I was immoral. And on top of that, I wasn't used to the extreme weathers, the extreme heat that happened all year round, and the different quality of water. I often got heat stroke, and I got an infection that had pimples all over my body. But after going through all these hardships, it made me realize that I am strong. I faced all these hardships in my own way, overcame them, and finally, my life is normal. So then, where is my reward? Didn't they say that there will be a big achievement after overcoming these obstacles? Didn't they say that there will be a green grass after the dry desert? So where is it? Where is my reward? Ladies and gentlemen, there is no reward. I think that the journey of overcoming is more valuable than the actual result. 
it has shaped myself and built the characteristics to who I am today. If I didn't have these complications and struggles, I wouldn't even know that life had struggles like this. So ladies and gentlemen, even though the desert is dry, we will always be able to grow like a cactus. A cactus is able to grow despite the little amount of water. That's why we need to grow as much as possible, despite having the heat of obstacles of us. We need to face them head on. And all the thunders that have hit me, and all the storms that I have been through, has shaped me to become who I am today, the Shavino as I am today. I am proud of myself, and I appreciate myself and my progress. I am Shavina Lestiani. Thank you.